Hello and welcome to my instructable on the Picoopter, which is a tiny, tiny quadrilateral helicopter. It's about the size of my hand. It has a Admega 128 RFA1 microcontroller on board that acts as the brain. And what's special about it is that it has a built in radio, which is a first in the AVR microcontroller family. It has a MPU 6000 sensor, which is a gyroscope sensor and a accelerometer sensor combined together. And we use that data to stabilize this tiny, tiny quadcopter. On the bottom, there's a tiny lithium polymer battery to provide the power. And it's designed with the motor is mounted on these arms and the way that is assembled is here's the circuit board, it has slots and here's the arm and basically ah, they snap together and then you apply some solder to the joints and that's how you assemble these Take a look at this connector here. Oh, yep. This is the radio transmitter. It has, it has a battery and how you control it. Hold on, let me turn this off. You control it using the Wii Classic controller, which has this connector and you connect this right here and that's how you control it and this will plug into here and that is how you can do a lot using this connection first this is a USB port, right? You plug in USB to recharge both of these batteries. So that's how you charge the battery. Also, if you press a button on here, on the controller, it will, a random number will be generated here, sent to this guy, and then he'll confirm it, and they'll switch to a new radio frequency together and that's how you avoid inter radio interference so to turn it on there's two pins here and I got this little jumper block and I'm gonna insert it there we go calibrate the sensors on a flat surface without moving and turn it on. And ah, okay, bad idea. Anyways, so it'll respond to disturbances. So that that's the sensor trying to keep it stable. See, and yeah, so. Hold on, hold on, turn it off. Ah, there we go. So that's that flight stabilization. Uh, if you plug the USB port into, if you plug the USB port into the computer, you can also plug in the quadcopter here didn't get that, there we go and it will recharge the battery on both of these guys let's just move also since it has a serial port and wireless radio here I could run the multi Wii configurator software. 
when you plug it in you can get wireless sensor data from the quadcopter and also see 3D models moving there's a graph on the screen all the motor output data is there for you and you can also adjust the sensors parameters the controllers parameters the PID va constants stuff like that monitor the joysticks stuff like that through the graphical user interface which is pretty neat with the Wii controller disconnected and if you plug it in right now uh, since this has a USB serial port I the firmware I have on here will let you update the firmware on here which is a neat feature and also you can update the firmware on this guy itself if uh, there's a special jumper you put in here instead of the quadcopter and that will activate the bootloader and that's how you can update the firmware on this guy too neat feature